Hi, this is Marina from Dance Star Astrology bringing you the 2022 horoscopes. But before we begin, during the video you will see some images of my Dance Star designs on Etsy, the new shop, and the theme really is esoterica, witchy type um, celestial designs. So I'll leave the links to the individual ones um, below and also including this uh, moon phase t-shirt as well so if you could give them a like even if you don't buy anything it doesn't matter it all supports the channel and it's most appreciated so without any further ado let's get on to the horoscopes so Scorpio here are your keywords for 2022 it is house renovations property security can you see a theme here rocky and roly relationships marriage spice up parenting yourself tough love gurus create without cash pressure study focus taming the dragons in the dungeon super sex appeal personal magnetism so scorpio your 2022 horoscope continues to place great emphasis on your property and home life Pluto has not been much of a pain in the butt for you, Scorpio, and in 2022, it continues to be pretty laid back in your neighbourhood zone, unless you live next door to a psychopath. Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008 and will enter Aquarius and your fourth house in January 2024. So, of course, with Saturn and Jupiter already hammering this zone, you're no stranger to testing times in the realm of housing. You may have had to move more than you've liked to or have had many ups and downs selling a property. The unpredictability with partners and Uranus in your seventh house has been a bit of a roller coaster too, but it's been ex exciting. So prepare for some intense restructuring of your home and any property you own. Take advantage of the last hurdle of Jupiter in your fourth house for anything to do with your home. It's an excellent time for buying a property that needs renovating. Jupiter should grab you a bargain and Saturn will remain in your fourth house to do all the heavy labour for you. You can tie up all the loose ends of Pluto in your third house before it leaves with the help of Venus retrograde in your local area and study zone. So Venus retrograde in Capricorn. So it will be in your third house from December the 20th to um, 21 and that's until January 30th, 22. But we have a very dark Cupid, um, Venus retrograde, where she slows down and switches direction in the grips of Pluto. Now for you, this connection means intense focus if you are studying, especially if the subject is Venus related like economics, fashion or art. Um, it's also unusual because Venus will meet Mars twice and the first conjunction will occur in your third house and the second in your home. And that's a lovely seed moment for setting up, setting up a love nest. So Venus retrograde in your neighborhood zone causes you to review how harmonious your immediate surroundings are and how you feel inside. It is of the utmost important for some people to live somewhere aesthetically pleasing to the eye. For others, they need to feel like they resonate with the general vibe. So at this time, some events could occur that makes you question whether you're genuinely in tune with the local area. Maybe it has changed over the years so that it's pretty unrecognisable to the place you once fell in love with. So you might consider whether you move to somewhere where you feel more connected to the locals. While Venus is retrograde, it's also a perfect time to go and check out possible places you might like to move away to and see if you fit in there. And also, if you've not spent time with your siblings lately, this can be an excellent time to reconnect. So during the first half of, the, of this period, um, until January the 7th, Venus will want to learn new skills in her more sensible and prudent phase. But from January the 8th to the 30th, 
she will more likely want to go wild with artistic expression. Watch out for low flying paint. Now, with the seed moment on February the 16th, you might, if you do get any Valentines this year, they are most likely to be from a smitten neighbour or someone who's been checking you out while walking the dog. Now, as for the big stellium seed moment that happens in March, March the 2nd till the 6th, you get Mars can jump Pluto, Venus can jump Pluto, and Venus can jump Mars. Now, that will be great if you're studying psychology. Um, you'll be very focused on revising for these subjects or just find them fascinating during these transits. And this com combination is more likely to affect you if you have personal planets around the 27th degree of Capricorn or cardinal signs. And that Venus can jump Mars is just so romantic for for newlywed lovebirds who've just moved in together. So let's go to Saturn challenges. And um, I've already stressed the importance of Saturn in your angular fourth house. So remember this zone is also about your parents as well and your role as a parent. So becoming too attached to mum or dad figures could mean that they abruptly withdraw their patronage, patronage um, when you need it the most. But Saturn wants to teach you a lesson of self-sufficiency and push you to gain, to attain enough strength so that you can efficiently function without a crutch in the future. While you may attract many wiser, older influences during this transit, they will only last, uh, they'll only stay long enough to give you a nudge towards building more willpower within yourself. Now, another possibility that resonates with this transit could be psychotherapy, especially with Venus conjunct Saturn when that happens on March the 28th. Um, as I said in the intro, you may find that you begin your house renovations at this time if you've decided to that your home needs some extra, some hard Saturn work put into it. Maybe you have outgrown the colour saturated student vibe and need a more pastel calming colour palette. Now, with the Mars conjunct Saturn on April the 5th, the Saturnian folk you meet, whether they are your natural parents, grandparents or counsellors, will dish out tough love and train you hard, rather like a martial arts guru. So Saturn in your intimate zone can feel like a firm mattress for a bad back initially, but as the period progresses, it gets easier as you adapt to Saturn's slow home groove. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek, peek preview of the members section, which is Mars retrograde in Gemini for you, what that means. And that's going to last from November the 2nd, 22 to January the 13th in 2023. So at the end of the year, um, and it will be in your eighth house. So prepare to start amputating any nightmare brain cells that have been messing with your psyche. You get to be your own personal psychologist as you become very well acquainted with the dungeons of your soul. That does sound dramatic, but Mars inverted has an immense plutonic feel to it and the eighth house is just plain creepy. So this exp experience is hardly going to be a summer stroll in the park. No, instead this transit will drag you through the woods backwards, kicking and screaming. Okay, I jest, it doesn't have to be that way at all. It could be more like Alice falling into a rabbit hole because you are just so darn curious. And yes, it will just get curiouser and curiouser. The universe can speak to you in quite mysterious ways and feel entirely supernatural. So if you stick your fingers in your ears and refuse to acknowledge messages from your shadow, then that's when the dragging into the woods part is likely to start. Pay attention to who or what makes you angry. If you drink, your subconscious could spill out involuntary, taking you or your company by surprise, and the demon alcohol could really show its face at this time. But if the demons don't rise because you are a sober sort of person, you might experience Mars externally instead. Arguments could erupt around you out of nowhere, uh, but it should be fun watching the performance but try not to get lured into the battle. So thanks for listening. That was part one of your 2022 horoscope. If you want to hear part two, become a member at Dark Star Astrology 
link below to the website and you will get lots of added goodies as well. So thanks for supporting the channel. All the best. Bye-bye.